Hello and welcome to this video where not only am I going to be showing you how to get a free trial for Shopify without using a card, but I'm also going to show you how to quickly get up and running so you can put your first product up there very quickly. So the first and most important step, if you look down below this video and have a click on the link, you'll get taken to a page that looks very similar to this where there's pretty much no distractions. All you need to do is enter your email address here and then click on start free trial, which I'm going to do. Okay, upon doing this, your email address should show up in the next section. Make sure you use a email that's going to be at least important to you because eventually you're going to need to confirm your email address on the inside of Shopify. Also, aside from creating a password, this is where you can edit your Shopify name. So if you click on edit, and let's say I'm gonna be doing something with t-shirts. So the freshest tees. Looks great. Okay, so that's what I wanna do. And of course, I'm gonna do a password for myself and then click on create your store. All right, and of course, after it takes a couple of seconds just to create your store, they're gonna ask a few questions about yourself. You can answer these if you want. They're you know pretty simple, like are you already selling? What is your current revenue? Which industry will you be operating in? Of course, you can hit skip if you'd like. Then from here, make sure you put in your personal information. Uh, I'm gonna leave this up to you, especially for the fact that you need to do this yourself. No one knows you better than you, so after you enter in that information, click on the Enter My Store button. All right, so here we are on the main page once you are through, as it'll say that your trial just started. There always is the option of selecting a plan, but you're probably gonna to wanna to do that once you get up and running. The setup guide is going to be very helpful for a lot of the basic steps. Like it says, install product apps, you can customize your theme, you can add up domain, and of course, setting up payments because everyone wants to get paid. However, what I'm gonna do is go to the product section just to show you how you can set up one because, hey, you need products in order to sell on Shopify, right? So let's click on add product. Okay, I'm just gonna put white t-shirt. Uh, give me a second, I'm just gonna put in a quick description. Okay, so everyone loves a brand new and fresh t-shirt and that's exactly what you're getting for only a fraction of the price. Obviously your description is going to vary based upon what you're selling, but let's move to the next section. So if you have any type of picture, obviously if you're selling something, you're gonna want a picture, image, whatever it's going to be. I'm just gonna quickly add in a file of a, just a stock photo of a white t-shirt. Okay, so there we are. I, I added my nice picture of a t-shirt, even though it's a long sleeve. Either way, same thing. So price, let's just say it's going to be $10. Okay, compare at price. Uh, this is a good thing to do. If you've ever been to the stores TJ Maxx, or Marshalls, they are notorious for this, where it's like you can get a Ralph Lauren polo t-shirt for $10 and it says like compare at buying it at the Ralph Lauren place for like $40, $30, whatever it's going to be. But you know, let's just say it's like 25. Obviously make sure it's something that's comparable. Uh, you don't want to, you know, sell a long sleeve t-shirt and then put compare at $5,000 unless the thing is made out of solid gold, then you know, that's different. Okay. Cost per item. Uh, customers won't see this. If you want to put that just so you get an idea of how much it's going to cost for you, let's say it's like, you know, $2. That means your margins will be 80% and you get $8 profit, okay? So that's kind of a cool way to see that if you know it. Obviously, you should know it. Uh, let's see, uh, inventory, obviously, once again, for you, uh, that's just a made-up address. I use 231 Turner Lane. This is a physical product indeed, and T-shirts aren't all that heavy. I'd say like point, what, four ounces maybe? Okay, customer's information, select country or region. United States, obviously, whatever you're going to be wherever you are, uh, HS harmonized code, manually enter codes that are longer than six numbers. I don't have that right now, so I'm not gonna do that. Options, this is going to be very important when it comes to size, especially for stuff like t-shirts. So we have size, color, material, and style. So these can also depend on how much it's going to cost. For size, things are pretty much going to be the same. Let's do small, enter. Let's do medium, enter. Let's do large, and then we can do XL. Perfect, click on done. Okay, and if you need to, you can change around the prices for each. You know, usually the bigger it is, the more fabric it could be where I could see it being a little bit more, but obviously that's going to be up to you, but that's kind of like the standard stuff. Let me click on the save button. And what we can do is actually preview it. Let's do that right now. All right, so it looks pretty good. The white t-shirt, everyone loves a brand new and fresh t-shirt. And that's exactly what you're getting for only a fraction of the price. 
Probably not the best stock image photo to use given the fact there's shoes there, you know, there's pants. You'd probably have to be like, all the items are sold separately, but it does look nice. You know, it is like a mock-up. They do have the medium, the large, the XL. There's the quantity aspect. It just says sold out because it's previewed right now. Uh, materials, shipping and returns, dimensions. Obviously, there's other things you can add to it, and that's probably going to change if you do end up using a different theme. But all in all, that's how you can get started with the free Shopify trial. Once again, the link is down below. Uh, any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. It is a pretty simple process. One thing I did mention but didn't show you is make sure that when you put in your email address, you go and confirm it later so you can get notifications and they know you're using a real email. That's about it. Thanks again for watching. The link is down below and enjoy.